And you know, with so much going on, it, it's it's easy to forget that the president is still at the center of two federal investigations, and his legal team has been in constant disarray. Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, is now cooperating with Mueller. He's fired another lawyer, John Dowd. He pushed out White House counsel Don McGahn. And his former lawyer, Ty Cobb, retired to spend more time with his enchanted teddy bears. <laughs> so Donald Trump constantly has to hire replacements. In fact, nearly a dozen lawyers are currently helping the president, while one is definitely hurting the president. <laughs> and these new attorneys face a, a, a huge and unusual challenge. They have no idea what's going on. Because it's not clear if Trump has given them a full account of key events he's been involved in. And former lawyer John Dowd left them few notes or files about the case. Although he did leave this welcome message on the wall. <laughs> Very nice of him. Got lovely handwriting. Oh, man. Lovely handwriting. So, handwriting. apparently, yeah. to work on Trump's legal team, you have to be willing to take a case you don't understand for a client who won't tell you what he did and who might fire you at any moment. What kind of lawyer would be willing to do that? <laughs> to find out, we have an exclusive interview with the newest member of Donald Trump's defense team. Please welcome attorney Ted Morgan. Mr. Morgan, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Stephen. Mr. Morgan, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, this uh, Mr. Morgan stuff, that sounds too formal. My friends just call me Morg. I assume short for Morgan. Oh, yeah, sure that. Uh, and I also used to uh, pick a lot of clients up at, at the morgue. <laughs> but it's good to know. So what it's like to be the newest member of the president's legal team? It, it must be tense over there. Uh, no, it's actually very cool. It's the perfect uh, low-key gig until the ski resorts open again. You know, it's perfect. But you work at the ski resorts? Oh, no, no, I, I just hang out uh, at the hot chocolate machine, you know, waiting for someone uh, who gets burned and wants to sue. <laughs> Plus, you get the free chocolate, you know. But you gotta watch out, that chocolate's hot. So can you tell us your strategy as a member of the president's legal team? <laughs> no, no, Stephen, uh, not so fast, man. Uh, I believe in something called attorney-client privilege, okay? Okay, but... Well, tell me this. What about the reports that you don't even know the details of these investigations? Oh, yeah. Well, I also believe in something called attorney what the client did privilege. You see? <laughs> Basically, the less I know about Trump, the more I think he's innocent. That made sense. So, so, so that means you don't know anything about the case? Oh, I find uh, you usually pick up the important details at the mistrial. So... <laughs> But does it bother you that you've been completely left in the dark? No, 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 no. Uh, that just gives me fresh eyes, you know. I, I like to look at a trial from every side. I've been a lawyer, I've been a defendant, I was a bailiff, I uh, house sat for Judge Judy, you know. <laughs> hey, I volunteer as often as I can for jury duty. Wait, did you say you just you volunteer for jury duty? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, if you get sequestered, they put you up in this uh, nice hotel. Did you know that a lot of those places, they give you a free breakfast buffet? Yeah. You got to watch out for those pancakes uh, and those waffles. They're, they're hot, you know. Let me, let me, let, let me guess uh, something here, sir. Did you also get that bathrobe from the hotel? Ah, very perceptive, Stephen. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. You know, you know uh, what really pisses me off is that uh, judges, they think they're the only ones who get to wear robes. You know, it's a, it's a total power play these guys are pulling on us. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a moment to chew, sir. Well... Go ahead. You're dealing Go ahead. with some very serious investigations here. Have you been contacted by the special counsel's office? Oh, yeah, totally. I talk to Mueller all the time. I keep calling him up to ask if uh, this stuff that Trump is doing is illegal, you know. <laughs> He's got a very good eye for that kind of thing. But what about the president? D does he understand how much legal jeopardy he's in? Oh, of course, Stephen. Uh, Trump. Um, Trump's a very smart guy. You know, when I first met him, he looked right at me and said... 
how do you speak that, that margarita in here, man? Wait. Wait, how, how did you sneak that margarita in here? <laughs> See, you're smart, too. <laughs> uh, you're not a cop, are you? You, know, you have to tell me if you're a cop. No, I'm not, I, I'm not a cop, Morg. Um, but, look, without knowing the details of the case, are you positive you can actually win? Mm. I'm positive about winning. Yeah, I'm also very positive about losing. <laughs> yeah, the important thing is stay positive. Well, that, that's good, because a, a lot of people have had your job, have gotten fired. H how do you even advise Trump when he won't listen to his own lawyers? Yeah, well, that law stuff's not really Trump's bag, so I just told him something I heard in a movie once. I looked at him and said, Donnie, you're out of your element. White House Attorney Morgue, everybody. Stay positive.